Hey guys, Justin with Ready Business Systems. Uh, today I am going to be going over our lead marketing automation. So basically, as you saw in my last automation, uh, we have our, our applicants listed as um, they come in the system with a tag on them as a lead, and their tag is an applicant, either applicant field, um, applicant office, applicant garage. So they're all categorized. They have tags attached to them as they apply. Uh, so basically, where that comes into play in the system is that we have a recruiting automation, I call it. And basically, it runs on March 1st, April 7th, June 10th, September 6th, November 3rd. And it will um, text and email applicants different times of the year. So as you see the setup in here, um, it'll run on March 1st if uh, there's an applicant field tag on the lead. It's only sent to leads here. So basically, on March 1st, it's going to send this text message out to the lead, and it's going to say, uh, now hiring $100 cash bonus after first week and $250 of the first three months. Uh, it's going to wait three days, and then it's going to send an email with the same thing. So essentially, we go through uh, March 1st. I don't want to uh, message them too much, but on March 1st, it's going to do that. It's going to do the same thing on April 7th, a month later, June 10th, uh, September 6th, November 3rd. Um, and then Later on in the year, uh, March 8th, it's going to make a to-do for the office admin to call uh, the field applicants, basically reaching out. So they already got a text and an email. She's going to make a phone call, uh, call again on April 12th, call again on June 15th, call again on September 10th. So basically, these are all follows up, follow-ups on the initial texts and emails. And uh, the purpose of this is to just be continually marketing to applicants. Uh, you're supposed to market, you should be marketing to your employee applicants just as often as you are to your your um, your client, your clients, the, the leads uh, for work. Because basically, if you don't do that, you're going to end up with a bunch of work and no one to do the work. So it's just important to always be marketing to your employees as much as it is to your, uh, to your lead customer leads. And I wanted to show you here uh, under contact uh, employment, this is where we have the form. Uh, so this is our marketing page for applying. It says to apply, uh, you fill out the applicant form, which is found here. And this form is linked into Service Autopilot. So this form uh, right here, these are the tags that apply. So if they click crew member, it's going to put a certain tab on, uh, tag on them, uh, office admin, marketing. So depending on who we need, need, we can always go through and search for a certain type of applicant, uh, send mass marketing to certain types of applicants, or set it up to do automatically through automations. Uh, we also have certain questions in here that trigger certain to-dos, which I can go over next time. Uh, but basically, these this question, are you a recent graduate? This applies to a... Uh, an internship. So basically we get 50% reimbursement through the state. Uh, so these two criteria apply to that. If they hit yes, it's going to tag them as a work immersion applicant, meaning that making sure that if we hire them and apply an employee tag, that they're, we're going to apply for this grant. Uh, so this is our application here. So anyway, I just wanted to go over that with you guys and um, show you how that, that leads uh, for applicants integrates into the rest of our system. All right, I'll catch you next time.